Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important problem from definite integrals. So here uh, we have to find out the value of this uh, important definite integral from 0 to infinity and the integrand is x divided by 1 plus x uh, times 1 plus x square, right? So here uh, what we will do, uh, we'll first take this integral as i. Right. So, whereas if we uh, closely inspect this uh, uh, integrand, uh, we can see that uh, we can uh, resolve this integrand into partial fractions. Right. So, this uh, integral can be solved by two methods. One by method of uh, partial uh, fractions, and the other method is by method of uh, substitution. Right, so we can uh, first resolve uh, this expression that is x over 1 plus x times 1 plus x square into partial fractions. Right, so we can write here a over uh, uh, here we have a linear factor, so we can write uh, a over x plus 1, and then uh, here we have a quadratic uh, function. Right? And this quadratic function is, uh, it cannot be resolved into linear factors. So when we uh, have a quadratic function which cannot be resolved into linear factors, then we write a term like this bx plus c in the numerator and here we have x square plus 1. Right? So we can resolve uh, this integrand into partial fractions and then we can find out the values of a, b, c and then by a method of usual uh, integration we can find out the uh, integral and then by applying the limits uh, we can uh, finally find out the value of this uh, integral. right? But here uh, we are not going to use uh, the method of partial fractions. right? So here uh, we are going to use the method of uh, substitution. So let us start. So here we will take the substitution uh, that is uh, x is equal to uh, tan theta, right? So this is the most appropriate substitution here, x is equal to tan theta so that if we differentiate x with respect to theta, uh, we will get uh, dx over d theta as the derivative of tan theta and this is uh, secant square theta. Right? And from trigonometry, we know that secant square theta is equal to 1 plus 10 square theta. So now we have 1 plus 10 square theta. 10 theta may be replaced by x. So we have 1 plus x square. Right? So dx over d theta is equal to 1 plus x square. So it implies that a d theta can be written as dx over 1 plus x square. Right? Okay. So now here the limits of integration vary from 0 to infinity. So when x is equal to 0, then the value of tan theta is equal to 0 from this expression. So this implies that theta is equal to 0. Now when x is not defined or infinity, then tan theta is equal to infinity. So theta is equal to pi over 2, right? So we can say that when x varies from 0 to infinity, then the value of theta vary from 0 to infinity. So now what we will do, we'll write this integral i in terms of theta. So we have now i, then the limits are from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, for uh, dx, 1 plus x square dx over 1 plus x square we can write simply uh, d theta and then uh, for this x we can write here tan theta and for 1 plus x we have 1 plus uh, tan uh, theta right so now the integrand is uh, x that is tan theta dx over 1 plus x square may be replaced by d theta and then 1 plus x that is x is tan theta. So now we uh, will simplify this 
expression further uh, by writing tan theta is equal to sin theta over uh, cosine theta. So now we have here uh, 0 to pi by 2, then we have sin theta over cos theta, here we have d theta, and here we have 1 plus sin theta over cos theta, right? So let us simplify it further, 0 to pi by 4, we have sin theta over cos theta, here we have d theta, and now uh, multiplying this 1 by cosine theta, we have cos theta plus sine theta uh, divided by cos theta. Now this cos theta and this cos theta get cancelled. So now we have i is equal to uh, 0 to pi by 2 and we are left with sine theta over uh, cos theta plus sine theta, right? So now we uh, have to evaluate this integral. And now if we uh, look at the problems of uh, definite integrals uh, using the properties of definite integrals, uh, this is a very simple problem, right? So here we'll make use of an important property of definite integral which says that the integral 0 to a f of x dx is given by uh, 0 to a f of a minus x uh, dx, right? So 0 to a, so here a is uh, pi by 2 and f of x, that is f of theta is sine theta over cosine theta plus sine theta. So now we can write here 0 to pi by 2, uh, this is i sine theta. Now theta uh, may be replaced by, uh, uh, that is pi by 2 minus theta due to this property because uh, here uh, we have f of x and here we have f of a minus x. So a is pi by 2 and x is theta. So here the variable is theta. So we have pi by 2 minus theta. Here we have d theta divided by cos pi by 2 minus theta. Then we have sine uh, pi by 2 minus theta. Right? So let us uh, uh, simplify it. So we have 0 to pi by 2. Uh, sine 90 minus theta. So we have uh, to go back to the uh, formula list of trigonometry. So sine 90 minus theta is cosine theta and then cos 90 minus theta is the sine theta and here we have plus cosine theta, right? So now we started with this integral, so let us take it as integral number 1 and by applying the property uh, we got this integral, right? This is integral number 2. So now if we add these two integrals, uh, then we have i plus i, then we have 0 to pi by 2. Uh, the first integral is sine over cos, this is sine and here we have theta, then uh, this integral is 0 to pi by 2, then we have cos theta, and here we have sine theta plus cos theta and d theta, right? So i plus i is 2i, and here we have 0 to pi by 2, and see here we have sine theta plus cos theta. Here also we have sine theta plus cos theta and the integral, the limits of integration are same. So we have 0 to pi by 2. So we can add these two quantities. So the uh, denominators are same. So we can simply add the numerators. So we have sine theta plus cos theta and in the uh, denominator we have simply sine theta plus cos theta, right? Sine theta plus cos theta, this is also sine theta plus cos theta. So here we have d theta. Now these two terms get cancelled. So we have 0 to pi by 2 and here we have d theta, right? So now we have 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 d theta. This is 2i, the integral d theta is theta limits are from 0 to pi by 2, so this is 2i, pi by 2, 
pi by 2 minus 0 substituting the limits and taking the difference this is pi by 2 right so i is uh, pi over 2 times 2 taking this 2 to the denominator we have pi by 4 right so the value of this integral is equal to uh, pi over 4.